So last episode, we hunted down a power steering pump off a Holden Astra to mount into lands and to try and get a power steering box up out of an LN106 to uh, fit on the frame. And we did get a fair way along with that. However, plans have changed and today we're gonna to be putting in a Red Arc Tow Pro and Lance and there's a good reason why. So yeah, like I was saying, we really started to get into that little project, but um, I really was hesitant to cut the factory bracket off Lance, because at the moment he runs, drives perfectly. Yes, the steering's heavy, but it works, and I've really been procrastinating about doing anything more to the old boy, because it is a perfectly working vehicle at the moment, and the simplicity of him is why I got it in the first place. So we're gonna hold out. If we happen to stumble across a factory power steering box for a 40 series, I will 100% commit. Uh, till then, we've got bigger fish to fry in the name of some new projects and some new things to tow. So of course, all 4x4s hooked us up with a brake controller, albeit probably the best one on the market. This is pretty flash for Lance, a Red Arc Tow Pro Elite. So we're gonna go through and uh, give you guys a full rundown, step by step, and as detailed as we can, and how to install one of these. It's probably been done a few times already, but probably not in a truck this old. And uh, it is a really easy DIY job that you can pay a fortune for at an auto electric shop. So this is one worth trying yourself, guys. I'll run you through it. There's four wires, really simple, and uh, there's a few steps to just doing it right. Right, before we get into it, I said there was a few good reasons why we've uh, put Lance on the back burner. One of them is we are in the process of getting another project. <laughs> And next episode that will be a reveal bloody hell it's exciting it's actually already here it's on the other side of the shed but we'll uh, wait until next episode to reveal that plus we're getting something exciting for Lance to tow uh, hopefully he's got enough power to do it but it'll be fun and we're gonna do some shorter harder trips in Lance towing something uh, that I'm really excited to get that won't be far away either so there's a lot happening going into the new year guys let's get into this Red Arc Tow Pro get it installed in Lance and he'll be ready for action and on to the uh, next project. Righto, so we've got him out of the box and it is quite simple. This is the unit that mounts in the vehicle. This can be mounted upside down, flat, horizontal, vertical, as long as it's mounted solidly. Do not zip tight, just do a bit of wiring harness underneath because if it moves, the proportional side of it won't work correctly. So it just has to be mounted nice and solid. We have a simple wiring harness. You've got a blue wire that goes all the way to the back of the vehicle to turn your brakes on and off. You've got a black wire that completes that circuit back to the front of the vehicle to the battery, obviously with an inline fuse. We've got a little white wire that is just an earth for the actual unit itself. And a red wire goes to your trigger wire, which is obviously your brake light switch or your brake light tail lights. Wherever you can find that wire that activates the tail lights, that's your little red wire. So it really is that simple. There's not a lot to them. And my phone's ringing every time. Hello. Uh, there is another part to the Red Arc controller. Because you have a remote unit, you do have another little controller that mounts in the dash. Very easy to install and really neat once it's done. And obviously the last thing we do need is some wire and a auto resetting fuse, or you can actually use just a normal fuse. An auto resetting is probably better uh, only for the fact that once the uh, circuit cools down and it, if it had a sense to short, that fuse will reconnect and obviously your trailer brakes will work. Uh, also, you can just overload the fuse if you've been hammering the brakes for too long and they can temporarily cut off uh, and then that auto reset will get your brakes working again. So that's a good safety feature. You can run a 25 amp inline fuse and for what Lance is, that's what I'm gonna do because I do already have a space for a spare midi fuse there. And uh, I found some wire in the shed that's plenty heavy enough. Make sure you don't skimp on the wire. Follow the book because it does use a fair bit of current. Use the correct size wire, which is, I should have known that. My phone's ringing again. Oi, oh, just uh, filming you, my phone rang. <laughs> oh, we're just getting ready to uh, put the red arc in, mate. Three square millimeters or 12 gauge. Uh, this is way more than that, but bigger is better. This is actually 4.5 square millimeters. So every time you do any wiring, bigger is always better than smaller. We'll get in and put this Tow Pro Elite in a really old truck. Okay, so first job is we're gonna actually mount the unit itself. Um, the old FJ, the little dash is pretty easy to pull out. So I might pull that out to see if there's space in behind here that we can dismount the body of the unit and uh, it's out of harm's way and nice and safe up there. 
and then we'll mount the button here. There's already a hole ready to go where the old, I'd say the old spotty switches or something. And um, because the harness plugs into this, you can get that unit mounted, wire the harness, plug it in, and it really sounds that easy. I'm sure that uh, something will get in my road here, and that's what normally happens. But we'll give it a go and we'll get this dash out so we can find a spot for it. Okay, so these are the wires going in the back of the dash. This little plug here is actually the brake switch wires, so that couldn't get any easier. Um, obviously, some cars will be a bit more difficult to work on. And there'll be enough room, I think, behind the dash to bolt that in. And uh, that doesn't get much better than that with the controller going over the side here. Love it when a plan comes together. So we'll get that bolted in. Might just pre-fit the dash again. I'll probably just sit it in there now without even drilling a hole make sure it is going to clear the back of the dash. Okay, so I went and removed the brake light switch out of the vehicle and um, this is really weird for me to do it this properly. James is smiling at me. <laughs> because um, it was scotch lock talk, but we'll, we'll rip it out and do it properly. So, Obviously you've got power coming in one side. When the brake pedal is hit, disconnects your circuit and uh, turns your brake lights on. So that's the one we need to tap into. I pinned it out of the plug and uh, these old Toyotas just use plugs you can actually buy from JCar. So we'll put two wires back into that pin, the wire that was originally in it, and then we'll have a little tail coming out that we can hook into the brake unit itself. So we'll hook that up right at the end. Uh, so that's the wire going into the fuse, then we come out of the fuse, into the cab, to the actual little controller itself. Uh, running wires is usually the most painful part of all this, and uh, this is quite a simple car, but I've just about run out of room through the firewall. Um, so yeah, this will be a little annoying, but we'll get it. The thicker red wire is coming from the battery, and the thinner one goes to the back of the ute for the electric brakes. Really try to use the right colors where you can because it can get confusing otherwise. Right. Happy? Yeah, so we'll wind it up and put these two, what's the names in there? Should be right. So we just put a bit of effort into getting the spare tyre up under the back of the tray again and nice and high and out of the road. Uh, we just need a bit more room in the back of Lance, especially when we're doing these little trips in him. When we went fishing with him the other day, we uh, we really struggled to fit everything in there. So tyre up under the back will just give us so much more room in the tray. Hopefully James as well just hold. Should, we, should we show him or? No. <laughs> About as good as I'd do, lovely. Well, no, it's only a matter of actually putting the little control knob in now. Um, that's already a pre-wired harness, so I'll go ahead and mount that. I'll show you the finished product and then laugh when it doesn't work. Nah, it should work. Hey, James. That's right. He seems confident. We'll see. Okay, it's time to hook the other end to the fuse, uh, hook the battery back up, put it all back together and test it. Before I put that dash in, I uh, should be able to hit the brake and at least get power to the unit. Uh, then we'll have to go and hook the trailer up, make sure the brakes work. Right, go forward a bit.
Well, there you have it, guys. It's that easy to install your Red Arc Tow Pro brake controller into your vehicle. Lance is ready to tow now. And we're going to give him a test. Off to the tip. So if we can't get another angle, um, we're due for another one. Because like I said, there's a project in that shed ready for next episode. So stay tuned. That's going to be really exciting. So don't forget, guys, only live once. Get out in the shed and get stuck into that project. See you next time.